Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and our distinguished guests. Inspiration for change. What is inspiration? What is change? Do we have to change? Should we want to change? When I try to change, I try to break the question down. What is inspiration for change? What is the question in itself? When somebody says to you, what is? The first thing we think about is, oh my God, what are they going to ask us? And they say, well, what is change? Now i got to break that down. What is change? Change what? Do I have to change my attitude? Do I have to change where I look at my job? What do I have to change? So I get scared when I hear someone say change. Well, at least I used to get scared. When I was a kid, every time I had to change something, I'd be so scared, I would just sometimes hide because I didn't want to see change. Because every time I saw a change, it was kind of like a negative way in my neighborhood. So I, that would scare me. As I got a little bit older, I realized that change is actually good for us. So I stopped being afraid, but I never stopped feeling uncomfortable about change. From now until the day I die, I will feel uncomfortable about change. In fact, the day I die, I'll probably feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how much I, I was uncomfortable with change until I started realizing, looking back at my childhood, I would say to people, well, why do I need to change that defensive mode? Well, as Popeye would say, I am what I am. And I'm not going to change for anybody. That's who I am. Then I became a parent. And I have two daughters. My daughters are, well, let's say they're not teenagers anymore. And I was having talk with the youngest one one time as I flew up to Washington to talk to her about what was going on in her life. And I said, you know, Katie, you, know, you have to change this part of your life right now. And she looked at me, and I saw in her eyes, me. Well, why should I want to change? I don't have to change. It's, it's who I am. I said, oh my God, my daughter's me. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to explain to her that change is un it's uncomfortable to do it, but sometimes we need to do change. Now, another thing I was looking at when it comes to change is I need to be inspired to change. Or I need to think of a reason to change. Anybody in here who does real estate or any other business in sales, we have a favorite question. Well, what's in it for me? When I was a chef, I never thought about that question because I was always the server. But now I do real estate, and I do real estate for one reason, one reason only. For money. <laughs> now, I'm being honest. That's a change for me because I never cared about money. Money to me is, I mean, it's good and it's bad. And it's not a big deal. It's just a tool. But I do real estate for money. I have business cards at the end of the meeting. Okay. <laughs> so when I change, I, I want to change to something that's going to inspire me now. Something that's going to give me a positive edge in life. Now, I'm not going to be inspired when I run down and I'm jogging down at the beach or jogging down at Griffith Park and, and I see people that they sleep out in the street every night. They don't want to get up and go to work in the morning. Even if they had to, they wouldn't want to do it. That doesn't inspire me. So I'm not going to be inspired to change to live my life that sort of way. But would I be inspired to change in a positive manner? Absolutely. Because my speech here today is not so much about how I change, but it's hopefully to get you think about why you may want to change after this meeting to another level of why we come here. Because today is all about Toastmasters. It's not about my daughter turning into me, although she's kind of cool, right? <laughs> It's not about you changing into somebody you don't want to be. It's about why do you come to Toastmasters? I love it when somebody walks through this door and they're so quiet you can't hear a peep out of them. <laughs> and then they give their tense speech and they can't keep quiet, Francisco. Thank you. <laughs> that is growth. That inspires me. Not that I can do 22 speeches. Not that I can do 50 speeches. Not that I can someday catch up to Dennis with 1,465 speeches. No, you missed some one. I hate when that happens. Back a one down there for me. But that's inspiration. So what I want today is I want everyone to take a look at where you are today. Take a look at who you are today. And why did you come here? And I'm going back to this gentleman here who's been a Toastmaster for 60 years. I know that because he became a Toastmaster the year I was born. <laughs> he also made the Corvette in 1953 too. Rick's finally catching up to us. Why did you come to Toastmasters? So you join me today. Try to be inspired by this day. Try to be this word right there. <laughs> What is that word? Come on, everybody. What is it? Later. 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 Later.
Everybody say it? <laughs> For once, we finally get everyone to say the word of the day. <laughs> Inflatus. That's why we're here today. I want you to join me in being inspired and remember why you came through that door. Why do you give speeches? Why do you want to do an evaluation? Heather said to me today, I have to do more evaluations because I got to get better at it. And I said, I got to learn to do more speeches and, and learn how to do a speech from what I write, not from what I say when I get up here. Because there's a difference, night and day. Sometimes I write a speech and I say almost every word the way I wrote it. Sometimes I write a speech and I might as well just left at home. Because I'm so inspired by what happens when I walk up here. I'm so inspired by the first new member, the oldest member of the group. It inspires me to be a Toastmaster. It inspires me to see everybody sitting here today and a large group we have on this very special day. So please join me today why you're a Toastmaster, what does inspire you, and what does not inspire you, and move forward on that. Madam Toastmaster. Wow.